Welcome to Crystal Monday and today we're going to be talking about Elestial Quartz. Elestial Quartz is also called Skeletal Quartz or Crocodile Quartz and this is due to its layers which actually makes it all the more powerful. And these layers here, or its overgrowth, are the difference between having a quartz piece and an Elestial Quartz piece. Elestial quartz is one of the oldest forms of quartz on our planet. Isn't it pretty? I just love this piece. So, it's said that you can also get amethyst celestial, citrine celestial, and rose quartz celestial, even danbury celestial. I've only ever come across smoky celestial and I just love it. It's great for shadow work, ancestral work, spiritual growth, and I'll go into that into more detail in just a second. Usually when L is at the start of a word or name, it generally means to lift, to raise, to heighten, and that is exactly what Alessio Quartz is, does. So if you're working with Alessio Quartz for spiritual growth, then the best thing to do is to do a meditation and be in a, in a meditative pose with your celestial quartz and visualize yourself lifting and raising and elevating yourself to the cosmos. Because celestial itself is said to mean to the stars. So this is a great tool to meditate with, to attune yourself to the, the higher realms to receive information. It's said in deep meditations you can get visions and to get a stronger guide of intuition from spirit. Quartz is also very grounding and very protective. So as much as you could use this stone for your spiritual growth, for guided meditations, for coming across spirit guides, ancestral work, you can also use it for your shadow work. And if you're needing to be grounded as well and you're needing some clairvoyance or some sort of guidance around situations in your current life, then this is the stone to be working with. Alessio Quartz is said to be the bringer of wisdom. It can give you a new insight, it can give you deeper wisdom. So the best thing to do if you're in a deep meditation is just ask what this stone has for you. What information is coming through? It's also said that you can access past lives with this, whether you're going to see that you used to be a priestess, if you get a feel that you're around in the Mayan era, like the Egyptian, like there's loads of different times in histories, but the point is, is it's supposed to help you get into touch with past lives help you find your passions, your creativities, it can give you guidance from the ancestral realm as well as the spiritual, your know, spirit guides and higher channels and it's also, it's really good for healing. So a good practice to do is in a deep meditation, say you visualize yourself, you're raised, you're in the cosmos and then if you raise energy within yourself. So you focus on each of your chakras, you're raising energy, you feel like you're drawing in lots of love and light and you're releasing out like roots of a tree, releasing out all that doesn't serve you positively and then you're building up, you know, you're visualizing the light streaming through and then fully charging your root chakra and then onto your sacral, your solar, your heart. You, if you do this and you keep raising and raising energy, when you feel like you're in a really heightened state, then what you can do is you can visualize. So your left side is usually your paternal side, your father's side, and your right side is usually your maternal side, your mother's side. So what you can do is you can visualize with your celestial quartz. After you've raised and gained all your energy, it's just sending all of your positive energy down the lines, down both of your 
your sites, your ancestral lines. And this is really good as it can help undo karmic ties. Like it said that our ancestors will have made the same mistakes that we have, they've had the same life lessons that we're being presented and this is maybe perhaps because those lessons and ties weren't resolved within their time. Like you see that in families sometimes, the mum has had quite a chaotic life in destructive relationships and has maybe struggled to raise their children, their children have swore they'll never be like it but then the pattern continues in the next generation and sometimes it's not even like that. You can have your grandparents fine, your, your mum and dad fine, and then you can have difficulties that your great grandparents faced. And this is the point in sending energy down the lines and doing your ancestral work. And sometimes this is really difficult if you have a lot of shadow work to do. If you've had a lot of trauma, traumas, traumas within your life, and you've had experiences that have really, really affected you, and you could have trust issues with family members or you could have been through experiences that would just put you off helping them altogether or perhaps you've just heard stories of things that have happened. This is the point in spiritual growth and in evolving and becoming enlightened is to send peace and love and forgiveness and understanding, like really unconditional love and healing. This is the, the the point and practice of this work and if you're not in a mind frame to be able to send you know forgiveness peace love healing unconditional love down your maternal and your paternal lines then you need to do some more shadow work and that can be really hard to hear and really hard to deal with but when you're doing your shadow work again a list of quartz is another good stone for that but when you're doing your shadow work, this is not only to deal with your negative traits and behaviors that you have, but it's also to do with shedding and releasing traumas. And I will do another video on shadow work, especially on the more, if things have happened when you have been a child and then you're carrying that trauma on into adulthood, it can be hard to deal with. So I will do another video on shadow work and exactly what that means because a lot of people just think it's looking at the areas of yourself that aren't of love and light and positive and then once you fix all that you're fine. There's a whole cat in a bag full of, of situations with shadow work. It can be that, it can be personal traits and how you handle things and you need to evolve and learn how to deal with situations positively or social situations but it can also be traumas that have happened within your lifetime that you've had experiences with people and it's really affected you and also in past lives as well I've heard people say that they're petrified of water because in their dreams they swear they're drowning every time you have a nightmare so then that could be a sign of a past life where you've drowned or you know how there was the dulge, every, the earth got cleansed by water, this is in the Bible and other religious books and it makes you wonder because if someone can have such a fear when they haven't had a personal experience, maybe it is previous or it could be passed down the lines which is why you do your ancestral work as well and shadow work can also be within the present as well. You can do your shadow work for present situations that have just happened. So if you had a really negative experience or something physical has happened or there's a traumatic event that's happened, you can use your shadow work for present time as well. But it's a big, big topic. <laughs> but Alessio Quartz is good for that. But Alessio Quartz is also really good for, obviously with it being a quartz, it's one of the oldest on the planet. It connects you to the higher realms. This is perfect for ancestral work and it can actually be called the Celestial Elestial, <laughs> which is quite cute. With me mentioning about how ancestral work can be difficult, think of it in a karmic way. Once you've done your shadow work and you feel that you're ready to do ancestral work, then you're resolving karmic debts. If you send energy down the lines, it doesn't only help you and 
your ancestors, but also helps the future generations. Now this can seem a bit woo-woo to people who aren't attuned to what I'm talking about or haven't done holistic healing or haven't dove into deep spiritual practices and even get taught this in shamanic journeying as well that it's important to be in a mind space where you can actually send healing, send unconditional love, send peace and send the vibrations of, of truth and just so that you can not only clear <laughs> your karmic debt for them and release them into healed space, but also for yourself. Do you want to see, baby? Hiya! <laughs> okay, so once you work through your shadow work and also you've done your ancestral work, then you're in a mainframe where it's going to be easier to access um, doorways and gateways to higher realms where there isn't work to do, where you can just be at peace, you can receive wisdom, you can receive gifts and insights that are lighter and that will benefit you positively within your practice and within your life and you'll get brought situations and things will fall into place for you because you've done the work. That's the important thing about doing your work and having a practice and for me anyway, following the lunar cycles. It's so that you can do your spiritual work and have an evolution within yourself, in your life, in your life contracts and past lives, future lives, generations, you know, you need to do the work for this and then things do shuffle around for you and fall into place and it's also easier for yourself um, when you're dealing with hard situations, difficult social situations or you know when you just find in life that things have moved around and for some reason you feel like you're between a hard place and a rock like it helps you handle that as well and to have another insight come and another way of problem solving and another way of dealing with situations. So doing your work gives a boost of abundance to all, to your ancestors, for yourself and your, your own spiritual path as well as the next generations if you choose to gift them to the world. And Elestial Quartz is just a really good tool for everything that I've mentioned and it's mainly because of its age. And like I said, with the overgrowth, it really does make it a more powerful stone. So your job when you're working with Alessio Quartz is to transmute energies, anything negative and really spiritually harming that you're harboring and you're holding on to, you need to transmute that from negative energy into positive energy. In life, every lesson is either a blessing or something for you to learn from, or every situation in life is a lesson or a blessing. That's genuinely what I believe, honestly. And I've been through my fair share of hard times, to say the least. And now I'm in a, a healed space where things are falling into place for me and it's because I've been doing this work for about seven years. And everything is seeming, you know, positive and good and you do, you just, you know, even if you don't have the best family situations, if you're sending love and light down the lines, it might not be a comfort you'll feel like a personal level, like from family, but like in a spiritual way. As there is, there's higher realms and you've always got to wonder who that voice is that's inside when you're thinking or when you're meditating or when you're praying who's hearing that. And other people will say it's God or, you know, but it makes you wonder, there is higher energies that are there to support you and I believe that we're all sent here with soul contracts and we have things to check off and this is a good tool in, to use for this work. <laughs> Sorry, I went on my own tangent there about shadow work and ancestral work and karmic debt and ties and but this is the stone for these things. Now, this it's very similar in its correspondences to smoky quartz. So it's an earth element stone. For signs, the signs that resonate with this would be Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. 
and Hecate is a good deity to work with. Hecate is said to govern the heavens as well as the earth and, and the sky and sea and stuff. So if you did a guided meditation where you needed a spiritual deity to see you through, then Hecate would be perfect. Um, and she could take you through the portal to the, the next realm. Sorry, <laughs> my previous videos have been very, this is a stone, this is what's for healing wise, and here's the Greek lore around it, and I've, I've done things that way, but this time, um, I just felt a less steel quartz that also resonates with Samhain, or Samhain, or Halloween, however you want to name the witch's new year. Um, it resonates with this time, but as this is within shadow season, this is when you need to be, or not need to be, but when you should be doing this kind of work. So today for this Crystal Monday, I thought we were going to go into detail about the heavy work that's to be done and we're just going to see how this goes. I will do another video on shadow work and maybe a guided meditation on ancestral work at some point. Um, but the planet that corresponds with this as well is Saturn. So now you've got your, your correspondences and I've hopefully taught you a little more about Alessio Quartz. It is, it's a very beautiful stone. I love the overdraw. You know, you get people who would maybe see this in a store and they'd be like, oh, this is gorgeous. This is like a little scepter. If only we could chip all this off. When this is what makes this piece so valuable, <laughs> you know? Well, I hope that you have enjoyed your your Crystal Monday. Please feel free to check out my other videos and if you feel called to, please subscribe. I really do appreciate your time when you're taking the time to watch and learn and grow with me. Um, please take care and bless be loved ones. Until next time.